Hi, back for the conclusion of part five of the Passion History, Jesus Condemned to Death. When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but that instead an uproar was starting, Pilate granted their demand, wanting to satisfy the crowd. He took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of this man's blood, he said. It is your responsibility. All the people answered, Let his blood be on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas, the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, and had Jesus flogged. He then surrendered Jesus to their will to be crucified. The soldiers of the governor took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus. He was passing by on his way in from the country. They seized him and put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A large number of people followed Jesus, including women who mourned and wailed for him. Jesus turned and said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. For the time will come when you will say, Blessed are the barren women, the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. Then, quote, they will say to the mountains, Fall on us and to the hills, cover us. For if men do these things when the tree is green, what will happen when it is dry? Here ends the Passion History.